Jill with Quick Flex, and I am going to start kind of from beginning to end on how some of the pieces I do when I use a color book page. I've done this before quite a while ago, so I'm sure there's a lot of you that are newer viewers and haven't gone back a few years. So I'm going to do it now. I pulled this. It's This theme on this party is going to be the unicorn. And these are the colors of the images. I'm using I'm using the updated version. I don't know if I videotaped yet since I've updated to the um, 4.0 version of the software. It took me a little bit of playing with it to get used to everything's in a different area. So it's a whole new training. But I think I got it down pretty good. Um, one thing that I do like is the zoom in. When I used to hit the button and, and zoom in more than I wanted to, it would just keep zooming. It doesn't do that anymore. It stops and and it's hard to explain, but it stops every so often to keep you from accidentally zooming in too much. Okay, here's the color book image that I'm going to be using, and it's and it's not clear when I pull it. You know, very large. Um, I've got like 17 inches. If I zoom in rather than dragging it, it does get a little bit clearer. But for what I'm going to do, it doesn't make a bit of difference. I am going to take and trace this. That trace button is over down on the right hand side. You have to be in the design portion. This is the thing that's confusing is because it used to be the library was over here on your right hand side and your cut was over in here somewhere and your designing was your, all your designs were uh, not your designing. You didn't have a thing when you opened it up it just was on design. Now you have to click design or you go to the library to find your image and there's all my images. And I'm going to go back to design and send is now your cut area. So whenever you're going to cut, all your settings are here. Mine is set on plain cardstock. I went down to edit the material to put it at 33 because I use very, very heavy paper. I save it. Um, my cutting is on the outer edge. And I think then you set, hit send. Um, this is a little thing that you got to, you just got to mess around with it to, to, um, Whoops, familiarize yourself with, doesn't close like it used to. That's one thing I keep forgetting. Anyway, here's the, here is the colors that she's using in, here is the colors. Here are, I am so sorry. I get so down on people that <laughs> don't speak correctly or pay attention when they write. I shouldn't say down on it, but it makes me laugh. And then I go and do the same thing. These are the colors that I'm using. This is the color of the plate and this is the unicorn images that are on the decorations. So that's why I picked this one because she wanted one with the rainbow in the back and then I picked one that's going to be a carousel. So I'm not going to go and go through doing both of them. I'm just going to show you one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to go over here to the far right hand side and I think I said right earlier when I meant left. Fourth one down is trace area. This is the one where you can trace by color or you can just select your trace area like I normally do. In this case, that's what I'm going to do. And I want the solid fill. You don't have to turn threshold off anymore. It's not there. I just drag it till I get all solid yellow lines. And come on. And come on. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to hit trace because I want all those lines. I don't want the outer edge. I want all of those lines. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to break, release the compound here. Okay, now there's going to be a lot of pieces in here that I do not need. And I just randomly pick them out. I don't need them. On this particular one, though, it had a cutout here for the eye that I didn't like. And I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to take this one out. What you can do is pull away your background here. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to close the trace. I'm going to go to my color palette, which is also on the right-hand side, and I'm going to color that white. Then I am just randomly going to start pulling pieces. And actually I think I put this one back underneath it and oops, I double clicked it so it gave me what you're going to do is like for instance up here where his oh, oh, just grab his hoof didn't mean to do that there we go um, the horn the, the horn up here I did not use his because she wanted a gold one so what I had done is I went on to Google and actually 
pulled a picture of a horn, so I'm just going to take that out because um, I didn't use it. But you can kind of tell there's little tiny pieces in here that you just simply do not need. Uh, I need to color all of this in the colors that match her party. So let me re remove, blah, 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 remove what I don't need. Don't need any of this. Don't need that. Um, that's all part of his leg. And okay. Well, I would be here for a long time going through all these little dots. You get the picture, zoom in if you need to so you find, and just delete all those little spots. And you decide what you need and what you don't need. Then you can just go in. Actually, I'm going to change the background color on this to a teal blue because that's the color. I'm going to use the teal from in the plate and color it. Then I am going to go in and color using this as, okay, now I want to take the body and I'm going to paint, whoops, that one wasn't the body. I want this piece and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to undo that because I didn't mean that. I'm going to hold down my shift key and get this piece and I am going to make it a compound path because I do want that little line. Did I do that line? Yeah, I did because it gave me the outline of the unicorn. I'm sliding all over the place, slip sliding away. Come on, really? You know what? I'm trying to do this in a hurry because we're supposed to have movie night tonight at my house. And so I've been trying to get this stuff done since I got up this morning. And it is now 2.14 in the afternoon. And I've got nothing done. I've had more interruptions. Okay. And what I didn't like on this one is there wasn't... I didn't like the way that was cut out there. So I went up here and this is where your little square rectangle, um, octagon, circle, whatever it is, is all up in that area. So I'm going to make a little tiny one and I'm going to color that white and I'm going to place that, tilt it a little bit until I like where it fits right in there. Then I'm going to take that, I'm going to hold down my shift key, I'm going to go to object and I modify and weld. Now I don't have that hole on them anymore. Then what I did is I went in, these I know are going to be the teal, but they're going to be done in glitter. So what I did with those is I pulled them aside because I'm going to do those in glitter. And what you have to do is you have to go through here and color each, each of your, um, I'm going to use this on all of them, um, your colors from the plate here. I'm doing it not... I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. But anyway, you're going to go through every single piece and just use your dropper. You do have to remember to click on the next piece because you're going to have to change it. And I don't know what, come on. I clicked on the wrong spot. And so on and so forth to get it all done. Then when you get it all done, you're going to go in there and you're going to group it. And then you're going to move it on to your piece here. It's not all colored in so you can't tell. I mean these are going to be colored in. This I used as my background and you will see why when I show you the finished piece. These again I left aside to cut out of glitter paper. Um, when I was all done, again this is her stuff that she has that I'm matching. And um, this is going to be my carousel unicorn. And this is going to be my unicorn that I just colored. And I put my own horn in here from a Google. I just grabbed any unicorn that had gold in it because I wanted those lines. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see. There we go. There you can see this piece I put in here and this little gold I just put in so that I would remember to do this in gold because she wanted the inside of the ear gold and the horn gold. So that's what I did. And I cut this out all as one with the exception of the clouds. So again, here's my carousel that I'm going to be doing and here is the one in the rainbow. So I'm done with this portion of it and I will be back showing you the finished product. So let me close out this file and see you at the table. 
Hi guys, I'm back. Guys, and I keep going further back and back and back. Um, right now, my chair actually is hitting the back side um, where I have my cutting machine because I pulled everything this way to fit my tripod because it's so big. Um, somebody made a comment that they liked my phone better because um, it seemed to be that my lights flicker and you could be right because I have one light up there that appears to have some sort of a short. We're not real sure. My husband just switched all, all my lighting to LED and that's why there's been such a difference in the brightness. However, that light's more noticeable that it flickers. Anyway, sorry about that and I can't switch to using my phone because I've dropped my cameras and broke two times and I break one phone and um, I can't tell you what will come out of my mouth. So I decided not to take the risk and I'm clumsy because I'm always doing everything in a hurry. I have always so much on my plate. Every time I sit down to do this, try and get this video done, somebody's at the door, somebody's calling me, somebody whatever, telling everybody to back off. Leave me alone. Okay, I have the unicorn ones all done and glittered. And I forgot to mention, one of the things I was going to do, or mention, was I, I used my chameleon markers to put just a little line on for the eye and the nose. I took those lines off on when I cut these pieces out because they cut them out too big. When they do like a contour line, they're too big. They cut out a hole. So I cut them, took them out, those little contour lines, and I drew with that, with that marker, the little eye, on these. I hope these are all dry. Guess what? They're not. That one's not dry yet. Oh, well, well, well. What do you think of that? It didn't mess up over there, but it's on the back of this, which probably shouldn't matter, and I shouldn't try and worry about it because I'm probably going to make a mess. Here's one thing, my recommendation to anybody watching me now and laughing at me, because I know you are, because now I just stuck my finger in this one's glue, um, is that <laughs> when you're working on something, and you're working on it in shifts where you're working on one piece and then you're jumping to another um do it a little bit more wisely than i am right now because i have a little bit on every one of them that's dry and so i can't do what i want to do right now because i don't know i don't don't know which ones are wet which ones are dry so this is the glitter ac AC announcement converters that I use. I buy my my glitter from them. I absolutely love them. They are not cheap, but it is the best glitter paper I've ever used. Um, in that, some of the glitter papers that you buy, if you try and go cheap, um, the glitter falls off and it'll stick all over your mat and it'll ruin your mat. And I have learned over the years of doing this that you get what you pay for. So if you try and cut costs on your materials versus shortcuts. I don't know how to explain it and have it make sense, but if you need to make shortcuts that aren't going to cost on quality of your goods, work on that. Put your efforts into that versus trying to cut your cost of materials um, and using cheaper things. I do always buy everything on sale. If I find something on sale, I buy in bulk because that's the only way to do it. But, um, again, I tried in the dollar bin at Michael's where you buy those dollar glitters. I ha and they're, they're good for my grandkids. I let them use those glitters when they want to make something. However, I will not use them um, on any of my, my orders because they're, they're crummy. They're, they're too wet. They're very, very, very wet when you... Put them on your and you know what none of these are dry so I am going to forgo that one's dry and that one's dry I'm gonna do this one and that's probably gonna be the only one I'm gonna get done right now and I'm gonna move these out of the way oh no guys how do you like prepared I am you know what I'm really excited though because I told everybody I'm redoing um, my my I guess you would call it my guest room I call it my grandkids room because that's where whenever I have them where they still, or not still night, they still night, they sleep with Papa Nemma. Um, but 
for nap time, when I take care of them during the summer, when they're out of school, um, it's, it's their room. So I'm redoing the whole thing in Disney and my bedding came in today. I am so excited. Um, I'm doing mainly Mickey and Minnie. Everything is in, it's, it's yellow, black, yellow, black, and red, and white. Um, however, I'm going to incorporate any character I want. Um, it doesn't have to be within those color. Where in the heck is my, right here. Um, anyway, my bedding just came in, and some of my throw pillows came in. I forewarned my husband that I was doing that. So if he saw boxes coming in, he wouldn't go, what is all this? But my pillows came in yesterday, and today my bedding came in, and I didn't expect any of it for a couple weeks. So while this stuff is drying, you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be putting together the Mickey Mouse bed. And they have a, I don't have a headboard on the bed in that room, but they have a vinyl, great big vinyl top of Mickey's head, his ears and the top of his head in black or mini with the red bow or pink, whatever you want. And I just may end up going that route. I'm going to see as I put it together. I just did my own room, um, whitewashed my wood walls. I had pine walls. I whitewashed them in white and not whitewashed, chalked, chalk painted them. And then just completely redid did my theme. My husband just, you know, that man is is a, a, a saint. He, we've been married forever and a day, 43 years. We've been together for 46 years. And that poor man, thankfully, thankfully he knows that he can just about expect anything when he comes home because I change everything all the time. Guys, I did something wrong here. These are all the same pieces. What I think I did, I needed to cut the reverse, and I do, i got to set these out, because I think I missed one of them. I don't think I got them all cut out. Oh, not, oh no, here it is, right here. Okay, guys, I, I thought I did something wrong. Wouldn't surprise me, but I didn't. So, anyway, I when I'm letting this dry, before I put them all together, I'm going to go in there and put all the bedding on. I'm so excited. I am, I am, I'm like a two-year-old, guys. I really am. I am annoying, and I know it. I knew that. And guess what? The chances of me changing are slim to none. That's on a good day. I have this conversation with my mother pretty much on a daily basis because... Um, a lot of times she's trying to change me and I have to remind her I am 65 years old and the chances of me changing are not good. So they have to, they have to live with my overzealous, that's what I am is I'm overzealous. My husband and I were talking this morning because he was, he got tired or something and, and um, I had switched uh, stopped drinking so much coffee and um, beer. Guys, that was a toughie, but I gave it up. Only drinking it occasionally on special occasions. Um, and started taking CQ10 and started taking fish oil and started taking, I can't even begin to tell you all the vitamins and stuff like that I started taking. And now I am like hyper all the time. And I said to my husband, but, you know, I, I'm still really active, you know. There's no reason you shouldn't be active. He says, you've been like that all of your life. And I said, well, yeah, yeah, I have been pretty much. But since I started taking these these other supplements that my daughter talked me into doing, I said, I feel like I have so much more energy. I said, would you like to at least try them? But he's not buying it. He thinks that I've never slowed down. So I do do a lot. Um, but I do a lot. I just had a guy <laughs> come over to talk to him about exterminating, um, like for little spiders and earwigs and all this other good stuff that I have in my backyard. He just happened to hit, hit me at a good time because, um, in our backyard we have our pool in a, in a, in a hot tub and a, uh, 
pond, and so there's a lot of water. So we have a lot of a lot a lot of areas that get a lot of earwigs because of all the moisture. And bees that love to build their little beehives around our pool, and birds that like to build our the bird nests up in our gazebo. It's pretty funny, but um, he wasn't talking about birds, but he was talking about doing this fumigating outside. And I got talking to him, and, and he I told him I worked from home, and wanted to know what I did, and got talking to the guy, and he, oh, next thing you know, he's, he's, his wife, I don't know, does, like, likes to make things with, they have four children, and he started talking to me, and he wanted a business card, and, and he wanted her to see my website and everything. And I have no idea how it was that we were out there talking about fumigating and earwigs and spiders and bees and all these other bugs he was showing me. We ended up in my office talking about my business. My business. And he was up here just looking around thinking, oh my God, he said my wife would go crazy. And they said my grandkids do. Every time they come over, they always say they want to go into my office and, and make something. They love to craft. And I'm always... I say no, you know they, they've got. I tried to make my daughter, my granddaughter, her own little area, but it wasn't the same because it didn't have all that NAMA stuff in it. So I'm trying to be a little bit more laid back and say, whatever, just have at it. Because I remember as a little girl, my fa my grandfather was a printer. He owned a printer company, and my biggest, fondest, most incredible memories is of him taking us kids to the print shop, and and. Um, Letting us little, pick out little pets, paper and pencils, and look at all the printing. This was back, guys, in the fifties. <clears throat> this was in the fifties, and they, they they still laid out all the little metal um, letters and stuff. They'd line them all up when they were going to print Christmas cards and things like that that he did. And I I can s smell a lot of times when I think about them, the smell of the shop comes to my mind, and it just gives me warm fuzzies. And so I think I want to do the same thing for my grandkids. So I decided to lay off being hyper about them coming into my craft room and making a mess, breaking something. Because that is much more important, um, the memories, than the materials. Don't care. So my grandkids thrilled to know that grandma's decided to be a little more laid back. This one is not going to be a merry-go-round. However, what I do want, and I don't know, guys, I've got to see if I can find a gem of some sort to put on the top. No, not on the top of this one. Again, on the top of the next one, which you can't do right now because it's wet. Okay, this is the front and back, and these are dry. I got the little clouds that I showed you down here that I cut out of the glitter. And all of this is all glittered up and ready to go. This one, now, I have showed numerous times, um, I just did a video on the Power Rangers. And the Power Rangers are standing, that they're standing up with their legs apart. And I know you can't see me because the table's right here, so this was really stupid of me to do. However, they're standing with their legs apart. And I don't like putting the rod right up the crotch. It just, I have an issue with that. So then I move it to one leg. Then I'm trying to figure when it's in a box as a base, it's off balance. If it's on a wood base, it's off balance. I like it to be balanced. I want it symmetrical. I want everything just perfect. So what idea I came up with, and on this one it's going to work perfect. However, I don't know how well it's going to work on the Power Rangers. I am going to, this one, if you want to make it so it's centered, the pole would go right about here. But if it's going through the belly like that, you can see it. And I don't like painting these because they're a pain to paint. So what I'm going to do, or what I've decided to do, I'm going to put it where it belongs and put them up higher. And I am going to use straws. I went out and got straws and all these, they're really hard wood cardboard, really hard. They're not paper, they're made out of, out of cardboard. I went on to, um, what's that thing called again? Oriental Trading this morning and ordered $78 worth of straws. And then I went in to try to cancel the order because I was thinking, what on earth am I going to do with that many straws? 
but it wouldn't let me cancel it. I, there wasn't any way I'd have to call in there and like, oh, whatever, I'll use them. Give them to the grandkids. But the dowel rods that I use, they fit perfect. Okay, but here's th the trick. You need to have the piece that's going to stick in the wood needs to be without the straw or it's not going to fit. So stick your peg down in the wood so you know that this is where I've got stuck all the way down. All I'm going to do is take and put a little bit of glue, hot glue, at the top here. And that's just so I can hold that stick in place. So I have that much of the peg sticking out. Simple as that. Then I'm going to take him, flip him over, and I am going, he's going to be higher up in the air, but again, I never liked to do that if the peg was showing because I think it looks looks ugly. I don't like that stick showing. I think it looks ugly. But on this one, I don't care because I've covered the straw. I ordered the straws in chevron prints, polka dots, boils, at, um, foils, not boils, foils at, at um, Oriole and Trainee. They have gold foil and silver foil and um, they have really, really cool straws there. I hope that they're this quality. These came from Party City. And again, these straws are amazing because they're not that cheap, crappy paper. And I'm hoping the ones from, from um, Oriental Trading are as nice. I jumped the gun a little bit and ordered them thinking, oh my God, they had so many prints. And then my husband came home from the store with these. So that's why I tried to jump on and and cancel that order. But the gold ones would be really neat to, to really pretty to use on, on some of the baby, um, prince and princess babies and with the silver and golds. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see me using a lot of them. Because I have some ideas that soon I know I'm gonna see a lot of because they're really gonna be cute. Really cute. Um, because as far as the bases go, people, again, I get asked about them because I think a lot of people figure, that kind of see my videos later, that I uh, get the bases as is with hole in them and, and painted and all that, and I don't. The bases are just like these popsicle sticks, unfinished wood. And my husband gets to finish them off. Um, we do pick, we used to do them in black, and I like the white better. The black is just a little harsh. I only use the black on certain things because there, there are themes that should be black. But I don't know where I was going with this. But I think I'm too excited about my, my <laughs> Mickey bedding. Oh, and I ordered drapes. You guys wouldn't believe. I ordered, I just can't wait to decorate it for my because I know my grandkids are just going to go. My granddaughter, Isabel, she's going to be so, so unbelievably excited. Because I had gotten a, a Mickey, um, what's it called, duvet cover uh, over the holidays and had it in there. And so she always said, I want to sleep in the Mickey room. Well, then after I put the duvet to wash, I put some other bedding on, and there was some stuff in there that were princesses, because my daughter-in-law-to-be or whatever, and my son for Christmas had gotten me, no, it was my daughter-in-law, um, Jenna and Andrew had gotten me a shelf that was for princesses and anything Disney. So now my granddaughter always says, when I say it's time for a nap, she says, oh, are we gonna nap in the princess's room? And she loves to nap in there, and I have no idea why. But I'm eating all my hair. I just got my hair done. I just got my hair cut yesterday. My daughter-in-law is my hairdresser, and um, I can't. I can't seem to keep up with girls too fast. And this last time. Um, I kept asking her every day, can you get me in? I was ready to take a shave to my own head or have my husband do it because then I saw what he did to his brother and decided no. But um, I said, I'm going to have to be going in every two weeks 
to get my hair done. I cannot stand the between stages. I am definitely high maintenance. Definitely. You can ask my husband. He would tell you. And I have a daughter that is exactly like me. Exactly like me. And it is scary. I keep thinking, oh, her poor husband. Because as she gets older, it doesn't change. And she is my clone. She will say something to me, and all I'm thinking is, oh, my God, you are my daughter. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I guarantee her hubby is going to, somewhere down the line, he'll be thankful, but he'll be thinking, oh, my gosh. Because she is, she's like me that when you're going to do something you want it done yesterday, no patience. Oops, I had that on pause. I'm watching Harry Potter again, guys. Um, I better do mute. I'm watching Harry Potter for the, they keep having them on TV over and over, and I love Harry Potter. There we go. We got the first one done, guys, and the second one will not be done until the glue is, is done. But I am loving the straw in there um, and the glue strips in there. But I picked the teal or the bluish and because we did all pastels on this. And you guys are going to have to let me, th let me know what you think of the straw. Another thing, this is a regular emery board. When you get a cutout, and sometimes the... The, when the blade gets a little older or the paper's thicker, for whatever reason, sometimes you get a little bit of uh, roughage, <laughs> rough edges. And I just take an emery board, and if I see something, I just swipe over it, and it cleans it down. That's just a plain old emery board. And, I mean, don't file it down like you would your nails. That wouldn't be very good. But just get the rough edges off if that ever happens. And I am loving it. Okay. I will tape doing the last two, because I think I might do them all in different color straws. Yes, I think I might. Um, this one I'm going to do different because this is a carousel horse. I'm going to do his eye right now, though, just show you how I did that. I just did a little yoink, and the nose and the eye was up in here. There we go, and that's it. I did not leave any of those contour lines in there. And I'll, you don't need to watch me. <laughs> I already said that the other day when I was videotaping. And somebody go, writes me, leaves me a message and said, Oh no, I was going, no, don't stop, don't stop. I'd love to hear you talk. You guys are crazy. Crazy. But I loved it that somebody loves it because I drive my husband nuts. He says I talk too much. He said... Whenever he asks me a question, I always give him an answer that's like, like a book. I said, I tend, pay attention to detail. I keep telling him, threatening him every day. I'm not talking to him anymore. Every time he tells me that, I say, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. We're done. We're done. But I have a mechanical mouth. I don't shut up. And if you don't like it, guess what? Don't care. Guys, I'm getting over that, too. People that look push, put their little... I don't like Mark or make a bad comment. I'm over it. So over it. Don't care. And these guys all have their eyes on them. Guys, these chameleon markers, they're awesome. Although I'm not using them for what their intent is, and one day um, when the kids are on school, I will take the time to show how they do get used. I don't know how good I'll be at it, but. I will take the time to show everybody. So, that's enough for now, and I threaten to be back later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back now. I just was waiting for these last uh, pieces to dry, and I believe they're dry now. They are. Um, I did get my popsicle sticks ready to do the carousel, and I do believe these guys, which are supposed to go... Did Jiminy Cricket and hope all his glitters are dry before I stack them on top of each other. Um, 
waiting now because my kids are coming over to do swimming and movie night. We also are planning a Halloween in mid-October that we're going to have all the grandkids do a scavenger hunt and apple bobbing and um, uh, what else do we say? Uh, what's that thing? Uh, potato sack run and, and all sorts of fun stuff like that and finish it off with a Halloween movie outside on the Mickey movie theater. So that'll be probably our end of it before winter comes and haunts us. You know, we try and squeeze as much as we possibly can in when the weather permits because our winters are long. And we decided we aren't going to Disney World in October this year. We're going to go in February. So it's going to be a long winter. So we're going to have to make some big plans. Now what I did on this one, I used the pink straw. And this is going to be the top part. And I put these little metal heads. I don't know what they are. But I guess when you go on a merry-go-round, you never know what they are either. And since this is going to be a carousel, I put these little metal heads on here on the top part of the carousel. And then here's the bottom part, which I put the straw in and left that much in the peg for the hole. These are working perfect. I am loving this discovery. I feel like I discovered... I don't know what. Sliced bread. I am I am really pretty excited about this because these these have been in the past a real sore spot for me trying to figure out where to put my sticks. Now I'm thinking this is my first shot at this. I don't want it too yeah, I'm gonna bring it down. Probably do it right like that and I probably should have stuck a little glue in here and I'll go back and put a little glue because guys this is my first time trying these so what I'm going to do is put it on this way on my table so this piece that's lifting it up is not lifting it up oh glue is coming in I'm getting attacked by glue um, I didn't connect these two together, which I probably could have, but I'm going to put some hot glue between them and reinforce them with the popsicle sticks so that they don't move. And I put popsicle sticks in here anyway. I probably could have made these. I didn't cut these sticks. This, I mean, I didn't cut. The, the reason that they're shorter is because um, of the popsicle stick. You know what I probably could have done? is next time around I probably could have put two pop and then not eh. I'm thinking I'm thinking as I, I go here next time I do it I'm going to be doing it differently because I just figured out something that would make it even easier like I said I do not cut costs on my product by cutting buying cheap stuff I cut my cost by taking shortcuts, figuring it out. And that's why somebody had asked about the print and cut and, and the cost of ink. Um, and I've said this on numerous videos. Uh, it is costly to use the ink, but I do use the rewards. And um, not only do I use the rewards that I get from staples, but I use rewards that I get if I'm needing more than, than I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I use rewards from any credit card company that I have. I use the rewards and just pay everything off, and you wouldn't believe how much you can save when you do it that way. My husband, my daughter, is, um, the one that's getting married, uh, she went shopping one day with her fiance, and, and they went to Kohl's, and my daughter had Kohl's cash, and then she had her coupon that she got in the mail and you know, all this stuff so she checks out and she pays with a Kohl's card and then gets an additional 15% off or whatever then she goes back in the line and she pays it off and um, her fiance is like why would you do that why would you just go through and pay, put in a credit card and then go back in line and pay it why didn't you just pay cash and then my daughter told him how much he, <laughs> she saved by doing that and he had said oh my god he said um her ex-husband used to refer to my daughter as riding his coattails. 
and my son-in-law, my future son-in-law, is always making comments that he is riding her coattails. And I don't mean for, but, but because she always, she saves more, she saves more money by doing things like that. I used to say she was, why would you go through all that work? And then, then when she told me why and showed me, I did the exact same thing. So, um, guys, you just got to be very innovative. And when you see some of that stuff, if you're very disciplined, you can make it uh, your best friend because you can save a lot, a lot of money. And I need to do that because I use a lot, a lot of ink. But if I didn't print everything, I didn't realize that this piece of white wasn't cut out in the back on this one for some reason. So I need to pick this piece of my popsicle stick up off of here so I can get that cut off. It's going to show. Um, and very carefully add it. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I was going to say something else that was, was humorous, but anyway, oh, the cost of ink, it's, the amount of time that it saves me is, is far more valuable because I'm much more productive, and the more productive you are, the better your business will be. Um, and I can still do the layered, uh, like for instance, I showed you on the front of this piece here, if you wanted to do, for instance, the the rainbow, you wanted to use glitter versus you glittering it yourself and wanted to use glitter paper, you can take any of those pieces off and cut them out of cardstock. You don't have to um, glitter them by hand. I mean, you can do it any way you want. And what do I do with the back side of that one? I think it might be. I'm putting it on upside down. What am I doing here? What am I doing here, guys? Okay, that's the way. The reason I put the glue here by the tail is because there isn't any reinforcement there and it's get, going to fly back and forth and if anybody's ever paid any attention to glue sticks they're very 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 hard and when you put them in areas that, that are really tiny to reinforce it make it a little stronger the glue dries very hard and it's great great for reinforcing where, where sticks won't fit I put glue in there I put it between sticks I, I put it anywhere that I don't want anything moving and again, this stuff dries hard, so it works like a charm. You always got to remember to be quick with when you're using hot glue, because once it's down, it's done. See, and then this makes this very, very sturdy, like it has wood in it, just from the glue. And let's get gluing across here. I'm trying to beat my beat before my kids get over here. I thought they were going to call off the get-together because one daughter went out of town with her family and my other son couldn't make it because he had to go somewhere and so I thought the other two were going to say, ah, but they didn't. They're coming over anyway. We're getting towards the end of the season so everybody's trying to squeeze in those last moments, which I don't blame them. And I'm always up for a a beer and a burger. Oh, I just told you I would cut back on the beer. I did, guys. I promise I did. But since they're coming over to cook out, I'm going to break out a beer. Because I'm having a good day. My, I have a lot, a lot of, a lot of good days, but uh, I have moments just about every day that get a little rough with my, my mother. So, I have to enjoy as much as I can through the day because nights usually are not so good. She has a really hard time at night. And uh, it makes it very, 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 very rough on me. I have to reassure her every single day that she's where she needs to be with me. And I have to remind myself she's where she needs to be with me. Because you guys... It is a life changing. I don't mean a moment changing. I don't mean a the space in your house changing. I don't mean anything like that. It is life changing. Used to be if I wanted to run to the store and end of the store. Um, if I wanted to go to bed, I went to bed when I wanted to go to bed. Now I can't because I've got to stay up and give her her medicine and give her her sleep tea and, and get her 
make sure her blinds are pulled and it's it's uh, not easy guys not easy at all so every now and then I need a little bit of re-encouraging or encouraging not re-encouraging I need encouraging reinforcement is what I meant to say um, from my husband we have to go <laughs> we kind of Okay, it's your turn to give the pep talk. We alternate turns who gets to give the pep talk to the other one. It was hard on both of us. But, yeah, that's what life's all about. What is it? You take care of your own. Probably scare my kids half to death about thinking one day they'd have to take care of my husband and I especially since I have a tendency to not grow up. It's like having another kid anyway, but can you imagine one that never did grow up in the first place? Like deja vu. Okay. Guys, I'm all over the place today, and I swear to you I've had nothing. I haven't even had caffeine. I'm wound up tighter than a corkscrew. Lordy, lordy. It's hot glue, I'll tell you what, it is hot. I'm trying to push these, I don't like it when you can see into the sides. Sometimes the glue is too hot for me to hold, to push it shut. And my mother asked me this morning when she got showered, she'd washed her hair and asked me if I could cut her bangs. And I said, yeah, and I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to do her hair today, you know, blow dry it and just kind of fix her up a little bit because... Um, she has a hard time combing her hair, and she doesn't have much of it anymore, and so when I blow dry it, it makes it look a little thicker, and she just looks a little more done, and I used to do it every single day, but, um, we weren't going anywhere. I know she, she, uh, a lot of other things more important than me blowing her hair dry, so today I thought I would do that for her, but I'd forgotten that her skin is like about as thin as onion skin paper. <laughs> and you have the blow dryer on her. And she's jerking around because I'm burning her. I did stop once she screamed. She screamed wild. She just said, oh, that's hot. And I was like, oops, sorry, my bad, I forgot. And I forgot to cover one of these, which was blue. Okay, guys, so let me grab a blue one. I still, <laughs> I still, have not gotten used to these wheels. My God, it cracks me up because they, the other ones used to get caught with like dust and things just from rolling around on them. Um, however, these don't. And, um, oops, wrong. Yeah, no, that's what I, oh, I know what I did. Guys, I did this differently the last time. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, what did I do? I know what I did. No, I don't know what I did. I forgot what I did that was making it easier. Oh my God, seriously. I'm into my mother's world. Um, my, my, my watch keeps, keeps telling me some something. I'm just checking to see if it was anything of importance. And it's not. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, so it doesn't matter. I'm sure it wasn't important. Okay. Okay, this is this one. Got to make sure that's the one that's blue. And... Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Not much for this. Right in here. Okay. Right there and right there. And right there we go. There we go. Um... No, I put that on wrong. This is supposed to be the ah, clouds. Did it wrong. Big dummy. The clouds are what I want straight, not the horse, because the, the unicorn, the unicorn's jumping in the air. There we go. Got it right now. I want the unicorns going this way, and the clouds are going straight across. I wasn't following. I wasn't following my lines. Um, 
And it just dawned on me. I don't think I even turned the camera on. I don't know if I did or not. I better check because I don't want to keep talking if I don't have the camera on. Oh, it is on. Although there's some of you that might wish I would quit talking. I'm sure of that. I did take my breath, my, my break and put up my all my stuff that came in today for my Mickey room, my Disney room. And my husband almost has my dresser done. He's just got to put the sealant on it. And I am so excited. Um, I'm a, I, you know, I'm like a little kid living in a 65-year-old woman's body. Um, but I got a, the mind of a five-year-old, I swear. Sometimes I feel like it. Especially when I'm talking like little Isabel and she's making more sense than me. And she's four, so... I don't know. It's pretty hard as you're getting older and your mind doesn't keep up with you. It, uh, I don't know if that happens to a lot of people, but I just can't seem to... My mind is just slower at maturing. A lot slower. but it's okay with me because it makes it fun. Okay. You guys notice how, how I've changed from cutting these in half to breaking them? Doesn't matter if they're straight, just snap them. Oh my gosh, one, one. Okay, come on. These are adorable though. I, I'm loving these. I love the colors in them. I've done a unicorn in these pastels, but it was a completely, completely different um, image. Well, it was an image that was a print and cut. How, uh, however, it wasn't quite the right colors. There was a lot of other colors in there. Uh, and I, I do love doing the unicorn, so I think they're so awesome. Just beautiful to me. And I really, I hadn't done a, uh, I had not done a color book uh, project in a long, long, long time. Um, and one thing I have noticed is that the more that you've used your cameo, because I, I get a lot of people now saying they got theirs and they're just <coughs> really intimidated by it. But the more you use it, the easier it is to do things that you don't even do that often. It's just that that a lot of the the um, a lot of the the features and things like that you would be using aren't aren't something that you would just use with the print and cut. Um, and so it just it, everything gets easier. Even doing this color book. This was a cakewalk, and I remember the first time that I had done them, which was probably a few years ago when I first started uh, using color book images, I, it took me a long time because there was a lot of, there was a learning curve on how to de decide which of the pieces that you cut out you needed and which ones you didn't. And there's my dog wanting out now. Of course I'm filming so she wants out. I think she wants to go tell everybody that, hey, I'm in here doing this. I don't know why. She only wants out when I'm, I start filming. It drives me insane. Okay, guys. I always talked about this not having any strings on it. Is the temperature down? I don't know why I'm getting so many glue strings. I'm going to do the last one here, guys, and then I'm done. Then I'm done with this one. I'll get pictures, get it loaded up, and then I'm going to go party. And a party hardy. Okay. I may not be really in doing everything exactly the same, so we're good. However, I do need to make sure that's hanging up here. There we go. And I want to get glue on my straw. I'm loving these straws, I'm telling you. Um, 
when they do come in from from Oriental Trading, I, I, one thing is is these are these are two ninety nine for a package of twenty four, and I do believe the ones that I just ordered from Oriental Trading I think were four forty nine for a package of twenty four. I'm going to wait and see when they come in because they might be longer. These straws appear to me to be a little bit shorter than a regular straw. I think they are. Um, and when the other ones come in, I'll let everybody know from Oriental, Oriental Trading, ouch, Oriental Trading, um, what the quality is on it and if they indeed are longer, uh, cheaper quality, whatever they are, because they're twice as expensive, but again, if, if they're longer, it might be that I want to use both. Because on this type of thing, I could put a longer straw and not have to use two pieces. Around a two-foot piece, it might make a difference. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll keep you informed, like anybody who's interested in popsicle or um, straw project. But I do think that these are a really nice way of finishing off a piece rather than painting the stick. My, my, my poor husband, he paints the bases, but it used to be that he also painted all of my, my pegs, or my, the long, the long quarter when I would first get them at, um, what am I trying to say, doll rods. He used to paint the doll rods too. Guys, you cannot imagine um, how much work we used to do that through time we have learned to do things that are a lot more efficient and that's why some of you that follow me even though you might not like me or you I drive you not drive you nuts whatever there, there are some of you out there like that I do have some learning curves that a person who does this can learn from and profit in time saving. So I'm not all bad to the ones that I annoy. I do bring some value to what I do, to some folks anyway, not all. But in that aspect, I am going to be say I definitely have some good points along the way and some not real good ones. I was going to go in there again, and every time I think about the videos that I did from quite a while ago, I think I really want to go down and take them down because they're embarrassing to me. I can't even watch them. But whenever I mention about taking them down, everybody said, no, 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 I like to go through. But some of the stuff I used to do was really dumb. Okay, they're calling me now. They must be here, so I'm going to go ahead and call it quits and be done. I'll get this all uploaded and ready to go. Everyone have a good weekend. Bye-bye.